am thinking that you are enjoying today i have come with a lot of welcome to living happily youtube channel in my motivational series today i have come with a lot of information regarding international labor day my day so you will come to know after viewing the entire video the history of my day the origin the meaning why did it started from where it has started what is the use what do we learn out of celebration of my day so i have gathered and compiled the entire information of my day you will enjoy you will come to know that how much exploitation was there in olden days for the laborer who works for us who design who manufacture who produce the various types of products for our day to day use so today we dedicate this day to the labor who contribute one or another things for our life for betterment of life so let us know the entire things of my day morale significance and importance happy international workers day introduction all of you are welcome to my living happily youtube channel and motivation series hi narendra kumar am presenting the entire information collected and compiled related may day i am commemorating the spirit of international workers day by sharing awesome inspiring stuff to keep our working day filled with motivation and inspiration when why and how do we celebrate may day its origin history significance importance and finally what do we get morale from may day today we are going to celebrate may day so let us join in living happily mission once again i request you to subscribe my channel if not yet done like the video comment and share with your friends and relatives i narendra kumar from bottom of my heart thanks you all for watching this video fully occasions International Workers Day also known as Labor Day or May Day is celebrated on May 1st every year in India and most of the countries across the world. It is a celebration of laborers and the working classes that is promoted by the international labor movement which occurs every year on May Day, May 1st. This day marks the acceptance of maximum 8 hours as an employee's official working hours in a day. It honors the sacrifices and protests of workers during the 19th century. May Day is not a gazetted holiday in India, but many PSUs, PSPs, and companies in the states observe it as a public show holiday. The date was chosen by a pan-national organization of socialist and communist political parties to commemorate the Haymarket Affair, which occurred in Chicago on May 4, 1886. The 1946 Conference of the Second International called on all social democratic party organizations and trade unions of all countries to demonstrate energetically on the 1st of May for the legal establishment of the 8-hour day, for the class demands of the proletariat, and for universal peace. Festivals The 1st of May is a national, public holiday in many countries across the world, in most cases as Labor Day, International Workers' Day, or some similar name, although some countries celebrate a Labor Day on other dates significant to them such as the United States, which celebrates Labor Day on the first Monday of September. It is an ancient Northern Hemisphere Spring Festival and a traditional spring holiday in many cultures. Dances, singing, and cake are usually part of the festivities. In the late 19th century, May Day was chosen as the date for International Workers' Day by the Socialists and Communists of the Second International to commemorate the Haymarket Affair in Chicago. International Workers' Day can also be referred to as May Day, but it is a different celebration from the traditional May Day. Morale The productivity of work is not the responsibility of the worker but of the manager. A reputation as a hard worker is a good reputation for having. Labor was the first price, the original purchase money that was paid for all things. It was not by gold or by silver, but by labor, that all wealth of the world was originally purchased. Happy Labor Day! Keep working hard and one day you will achieve everything you had ever dreamt of. May Day reminds me to remind you that nothing is impossible, if you work hard for it. You have worked very hard throughout the year to meet all your goals. Now it is a day to relax and rejoice. Labor Day is the time to enjoy the fruits of your hard work and labor. 
It is the time to relax and enjoy a comfortable day after working hard to finish your duties. Each and every person who has been working hard to give his family a good life, to work for the betterment of the nation, to bring happiness and peace around deserves a salute on May Day. Work is an extension of the personality. It is an achievement. It is one of the ways in which a person defines himself, measures his worth, and his humanity. Illustration by Mir Sunail. Origins and Celebrations The earliest known May celebrations appeared with the Flora Alia, Festival of Flora, the Roman goddess of flowers, held on April 27 during the Roman Republic era, and the Mayaluma or Mayama, a festival celebrating Dionysus and Aphrodite on an unknown date in May every three years. The Flora Alia opened with theatrical performances. In the Flora Alia, Ovid says that hares and goats were released as part of the festivities. Perseus writes that crowds were pelted with veggies, beans, and lupins. According to the 6th century chronicles of John Malalas, the Maoma was a nocturne. dramatic festival, held every three years and known as Orgies, that is, the mysteries of Dionysus and Aphrodite, and that it was known as the Mayolumas because it is celebrated in the month of May. Artemisios. A later May festival celebrated in Germanic countries, Walpurgis Night, commemorates the official canonization of Saint Walpurga on May 1st, 870. In Gaelic culture, the evening of April 30th was the celebration of Beltane, which translates to, Lucky Fire, the start of the summer season. This custom continued into the early 19th century, during which time cattle would be made to jump over fires to protect their milk from being stolen by fairies. People would also leap over the fires for luck. Since the 18th century, many Roman Catholics have observed May, and May Day, with various May devotions to the Blessed Virgin Mary in works of art, school skits, and so forth. Mary's head will often be adorned with flowers in a May crowning. May 1st is also one of two feast days of the Catholic patron saint of workers Saint Joseph the Worker, a carpenter, husband to Mother Mary, and surrogate father of Jesus. The best known modern May Day traditions, observed both in Europe and North America, include dancing around the Maypole and crowning the Queen of May. In the late 20th century, many neopagans began reconstructing some of the older pagan festivals and combining them with more recently developed European secular and Catholic traditions, and celebrating May Day as a pagan religious festival. Traditional English May Day rites and celebrations include crowning a May Queen and celebrations involving a maple, around which dancers often circle with ribbons. The Spring Bank holiday on the first Monday in May was created in 1978. May Day itself, May 1st, is not a public holiday in England, unless it falls on a Monday. In February 2011, the UK Parliament was reported to be considering scrapping the bank holiday associated with May Day, replacing it with a bank holiday in October, possibly coinciding with Trafalgar Day, celebrated on October 21st, to create a United Kingdom Day. History Beginning in the late 19th century, as the trade union and labor movements grew, a variety of days were chosen by trade unionists as a day to celebrate labor. In the United States and Canada, a September holiday, called Labor, or Labor Day, was first proposed in the 1880s. In 1882, Matthew McGuire, a machinist, first proposed a Labor Day holiday on the first Monday of September while serving as Secretary of the Central Labor Union, CLU, of New York. By 1887 in North America, Labor Day was an established, official holiday but in September, not on May 1st. 
Main reason to celebrate. May 1st was chosen to be International Workers' Day to commemorate the 1,886 Haymarket Affair in Chicago. In that year beginning on May 1st, there was a general strike for the eight-hour workday. On May 4th, the police acted to disperse a public assembly in support of the strike when an unidentified person threw a bomb. The police responded by firing on the workers. The event led to the death of eight and injury of 60 police officers as well as an unknown number of civilian killed or wounded hundreds of labor leaders and sympathizers were later rounded up and four were executed by hanging, after a trial that was seen as a miscarriage of justice. The following day on May... You are going to watch with me. So, thanks a lot for giving a boost to my channel. Keep on saying, I will come back. May 5th in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the state militia fired on a crowd of strikers killing seven, including a schoolboy and a man feeding chickens in his yard. In 1889, a meeting in Paris was held by the first Congress of the Second International, following a proposal by Raymond Levine that called for international demonstrations on the 1890 anniversary of the Chicago protests. May Day was formally recognized as an annual event at the International Second Congress in 1891. Subsequently, the May Day riots of 1894 occurred. The International Socialist Congress, Amsterdam 1904 called on all social democratic party organizations and trade unions of all countries to demonstrate energetically on the 1st of May. For the legal establishment of the 8-hour day, for the class demands of the proletariat, and for universal peace. The Congress made it mandatory upon the proletarian organizations of all countries to stop work on May 1st wherever it is possible without injury to the workers. May Day is a focal point. May Day has been a focal point for demonstrations by various socialist, communist, and anarchist groups since the second International May Day. It is one of the most important holidays in communist countries such as the North Korea, Cuba, and the former Soviet Union countries. May Day celebrations in these countries typically feature elaborate workforce parades, including displays of military hardware and soldiers. In 1955, the Catholic Church dedicated May 1st to St. Joseph the Worker. St. Joseph is the patron saint of workers and craftsmen, among others. Today, the majority of countries around the world celebrate a Worker's Day on May 1st. May Day is now most commonly associated as a commemoration of the achievements of the labor movement. The holiday is marked with a public holiday in over 80 countries. The first day of May was also a pagan holiday in many parts of Europe, its roots as a holiday stretch back to the Gaelic Beltane. It was considered the last day of winter when the beginning of summer was celebrated. During Roman times, May 1st was seen as a key period to celebrate fertility and the arrival of spring. The Roman festival of Flora, the goddess of flowers and the season of spring, was held between April 28th and May 3rd. Celebration in India In India, the first formal celebration of Labor Day was instigated by the Labor Kisan Party of Hindustan in Chennai, known as Madras, on May 1st, 1923. It is observed as a holiday in Assam, Bihar, Goa, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Kerala, Manipur, Tamil Nadu, Tripura, and West Bengal. It is celebrated as Antarashtri Yashura Mikdiwaz and is also known as Kamgardin or Kamgardivis. The Brief Origins of May Day Most people living in the United States know little about the International Workers' Day of May Day. For many others there is an assumption that it is a holiday celebrated in state communist countries like Cuba or the former Soviet Union. Most Americans don't realize that May Day has its origins here in this country and is as American as baseball and apple pie, and stemmed from the pre-Christian holiday of Beltane, a celebration of rebirth and fertility. In the late 19th century, the working class was in constant struggle to gain the 8-hour workday. Working conditions were severe and it was quite common to work 10 to 16 hour days in unsafe conditions. Death and injury were commonplace at many workplaces and inspired such books as Upton Sinclair's The Jungle and Jack London's The Iron Heel. As early as the 1860s, working people agitated to shorten the workday without a cut in pay, but it wasn't until the late 1880s that organized labor was able to garner enough strength to declare the eight-hour workday. This proclamation was without consent of employers, yet demanded by many of the working class. At this time, 
socialism was a new and attractive idea to working people, many of whom were drawn to its ideology of working class control over the production and distribution of all goods and services. Workers had seen firsthand that capitalism benefited only their bosses, trading workers' lives for profit. Thousands of men, women, and children were dying needlessly every year in the workplace, with life expectancy as low as their early 20s in some industries, and little hope but death of rising out of their destitution. Socialism offered another option. A variety of socialist organizations sprung up throughout the later half of the 19th. My viewers, why do celebrate this May Day? What is the reason behind it? What is the history? What is the meaning? The entire things you are going to watch with me. So thanks a lot for giving a boost to my channel. Keep on seeing. I will come back. Century, ranging from political parties to choir groups. In fact, many socialists were elected into governmental office by their constituency. But again, many of these socialists were hamstrung by the political process which was so evidently controlled by big business and the bipartisan political machine. Tens of thousands of socialists broke ranks from their parties, rebuffed the entire political process, which was seen as nothing more than protection for the wealthy, and created anarchist groups throughout the country. Literally thousands of working people embraced the ideals of anarchism, which sought to put an end to all hierarchical structures, including government, emphasized worker-controlled industry, and valued direct action over the bureaucratic political process. It is inaccurate to say that labor unions were taken over by anarchists and socialists, but rather anarchists and socialists made up the labor unions. At its national convention in Chicago, held in 1884, the Federation of Organized Trades and Labor Unions, which later became the American Federation of Labor, proclaimed that eight hours shall constitute a legal day's labor from and after May 1, 1886. The following year, the FATWA, backed by many Knights of Labor locals, reiterated their proclamation stating that it would be supported by strikes and demonstrations. At first, most radicals and anarchists regarded this demand as too reformist, failing to strike at the root of the evil. A year before the Haymarket Massacre, Samuel Fielding pointed out in the anarchist newspaper, The Alarm, that, whether a man works eight hours a day or ten hours a day, he is still a slave. Despite the misgivings of many of the anarchists, an estimated quarter million workers in the Chicago area became directly involved in the crusade to implement the eight-hour workday, including the Trades and Labor Assembly, the Socialistic Labor Party and local Knights of Labor. As more and more of the workforce mobilized against the employers, these radicals conceded to fight for the eight-hour day, realizing that the tide of opinion and determination of most wage workers was set in this direction. With the involvement of the anarchists, there seemed to be an infusion of greater issues than the eight-hour day. There grew a sense of a greater social revolution beyond the more immediate gains of shortened hours, but a drastic change in the economic structure of capitalism. In a proclamation printed just before May 1, 1886, one publisher appealed to working people with this plea. Working men to arms. War to the palace, peace to the cottage, and death to luxurious idleness. The wage system is the only cause of the world's misery. It is supported by the rich classes, and to destroy it, they must be either made to work or die. One pound of dynamite is better than a bushel of ballots. Make your demand for eight hours with weapons in your hands to meet the capitalistic bloodhounds, police, and militia in proper manner. Not surprisingly the entire city was prepared for mass bloodshed, reminiscent of the railroad strike a decade earlier when police and soldiers gunned down hundreds of striking workers. On May 1, 1886, more than 300,000 workers and 13,000 businesses across the United States walked off their jobs in the first May Day celebration in history. In Chicago, the epicenter for the eight-hour day agitators, 40,000 went out on strike with the anarchists in the forefront of the public side. With their fiery speeches and revolutionary ideology of direct action, anarchists, and anarchism became respected and embraced by the working people and despised by the capitalists. Today we see tens of thousands of activists embracing the ideals of the Haymarket Martyrs and those who established May Day as an International Workers' Day. Ironically, May Day is an official holiday in 66 countries and... You are going to watch with me. So, thanks a lot for giving a boost to my channel. Keep on seeing. 
I will come back. Unofficially celebrated in many more, but rarely is it recognized in this country where it began. Over 100 years have passed since that first May Day. In the earlier part of the 20th century, the U.S. government tried to curb the celebration and further wipe it from the public's memory by establishing Law and Order Day on May 1st. We can draw many parallels between the events of 1886 and today. Words stronger than anybody could write are engraved on the Haymarket Monument. The day will come when our silence will be more powerful than the voices you are throttling today. Reason to celebrate May Day. Truly, history has a lot to teach us about the roots of our radicalism. When we remember that people were shot so we could have the 8-hour day, if we acknowledge that homes with families in them were burned to the ground so we could have Saturday as part of the weekend, when we recall 8-year-old victims of industrial accidents who marched in the streets protesting working conditions and child labor only to be beat down by the police and company thugs, we understand that our current condition cannot be taken for granted, people fought for the rights and dignities. We enjoy today, and there is still a lot more to fight for. The sacrifices of so many people cannot be forgotten or we'll end up fighting for those same gains all over again. Celebrations on May 1st have long had two, seemingly contradictory meanings. On one hand, May Day is known for maypoles, flowers, and welcoming the spring. On the other hand, it's a day of worker solidarity and protest. Though the U.S. observes its official Labor Day in September, many countries will celebrate Labor Day on Monday. The May 1st, 1886, labor action wasn't just any strike it was part of what became known as the Haymarket Affair. On May 1st of that year, Chicago, along with other cities, was the site of a major union demonstration in support of the 8-hour workday. The Chicago protests were meant to be part of several days of action. On May 3rd, a strike at the McCormick Reaper plant in the city turned violent. The next day, a peaceful meeting at Haymarket Square became even more so. In 1889, the International Socialist Conference declared that, in commemoration of the Haymarket Affair, May 1st would be an international holiday for labor, now known in many places as International Workers' Day. Many meanings of May Day. May Day for Pagans. Wherever the winters are cold, wet, or overcast, the prime weeks of spring inspire elation and revelry. Finally, we can stop being irritable, morose winter brutes and commence our exuberant sun worship. May Day for Christians. During medieval times, May Day festivities took off in England. At the crack of dawn everyone would go a maying, gathering flowers and greenery and choosing a maple. Women would also wash their faces in fresh spring dew to improve their complexions and men would try to seduce them. The maypole was at the center of all this and it was against that prominent shaft that many Puritans directed their righteous ire. May Day for Workers and Communists A decidedly non-pagan, a sexual May Day celebration is that of International Workers' Day, a holiday created by socialists and labor organizers in commemoration of the Haymarket Riot of May 4, 1886, also called the Haymarket Massacre or, more cautiously, the Haymarket Affair. In post-Civil War America, the Industrial Revolution was in full blaze and workers were suffering. Machines were replacing skilled laborers, hours were increasing, conditions were worsening, and the wages were inadequate. The revolutionary ideas of socialism and Marxism caught on with many of these disenfranchised and antagonized laborers, and the movement for an eight-hour day had gained powerful momentum. With all of this brewing, disputes and riots ignited again and again. Then at a large protest in Chicago's Haymarket Square someone threw a dynamite bomb at the cops, which triggered a battle that left at least 12 dead and many more wounded. The riot was followed by a hugely publicized trial and the eventual hanging of four anarchists, the Haymarket Martyrs. This violent clash in Chicago became a powerful symbol for radical labor groups. A few years later, the Second International officially initiated the tradition of May Day labor demonstrations that continue still. International Workers' Day May Day took on a labor rights meaning during the Industrial Revolution, when thousands of working men, women, and even children died annually due to harsh conditions. Laborers commonly worked 10 to 16 hour work days in an unsafe environment, according to the industrial workers of the world. The Federation of Organized Trades and Labor Unions, which become the American... You are going to watch with me. So, thanks a lot for giving a boost to my channel. Keep on seeing. I will come back. Federation of Labor.
during a Chicago convention in 1884 proclaimed that a legal workday would be eight hours starting on May 1, 1886. On that day, 40,000 workers in Chicago and more than 300,000 laborers from 13,000 businesses across the U.S. staged walkouts, with the proclamation backed by the country's biggest labor organization at the time, the Knights of Labor. The demonstrations were peaceful until May 3, when Chicago police officers killed and wounded several laborers during a clash at the McCormick Reaper Works manufacturing plant. The next day, strikers rallied at Haymarket Square in protest. As police began to disperse the Haymarket riot, an unidentified suspect launched a bomb that killed at least seven officers and eight civilians died. Eight men considered anarchists were convicted in connection with the riot bombing in August 1886 despite a lack of concrete evidence. How did May Day come about? In Germany, Finland, and Sweden, meanwhile, Walpurgis Night celebrated that saint with a feast on May 1st that included dancing and young women being kissed, and was sometimes seen as a night when witches would await the arrival of spring. Another festival held by the Romans to celebrate Flora, the goddess of flowers, in late April also marked the arrival of summer. Eventually, together these celebrations became the secular festival of May Day now in existence. What happens on May Day? May Day is synonymous with the maple, believed to be rooted in a pagan tradition of cutting down young trees and sticking them in the ground to mark the arrival of summer, and then dancing around them in rival performances between villages. The day is also associated with Morris dancing, usually by groups of men wearing different colored clothes depending on the part of the country they dance in. Well dressing and making flower garlands can be part of the festivities, while a May Queen and sometimes a Green Man might also make an appearance as the embodiments of spring. Riots on May Day in the past The date coincides with International Workers' Day, which has its roots in a labor union movement that advocated an eight-hour working day. Anti-capitalist riots have marked the date as a result, first in Ohio in 1919 when disorder during a parade of unionists, socialists, communists, and anarchists was violently suppressed by police. In 2000 and 2001 there were May Day protests in London in which McDonald's, a statue of Sir Winston Churchill and the Cenotaph were attacked and 95 people were arrested. Other protests took place around the world in 2013, 2014 and 2015 to promote workers' rights. Thanks for watching the entire video from bottom of my heart. I, I think that you have enjoyed you have come to know various many things regarding my day. Keep on watching my Living Happy YouTube channel. I will be coming back with various type of motivational video health tips. So thanks a lot. If you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe, like, comment, and share with your family and friends. Till then, thanks. YouTube channel in my what is the